that didn't go well. <coughs> uh. What's up home bartenders? Welcome to Rob's Home Bar. So today we're gonna to be continuing our fall series and we're gonna be making three awesome maple cocktails. So the ingredient today is maple syrup, Canada's favorite ingredient. Now I know technically maple syrup is, comes in the spring, but it's still kind of considered a fall ingredient because it just works really well with all the other fall flavors, the spices, the apples, and just works great with maple. All right, so before we get into the cocktails, let's look at some of the ingredients we'll be using today. First, we've got this um, amazing maple eau de vie from OM Craft Spirits right here in Ottawa. And this is basically distilled maple syrup. So it's not sweet. Don't think of it like a liqueur. It's gonna retain some of that amazing maple flavor. It's got a wonderful creaminess to it, but it's not sweet because all those sugars have been converted to alcohol. After that, we're gonna be using two products from Kinsip Distillery, also uh, here in Ontario, Canada. Whiskey barrel aged maple syrup. So this is maple syrup that's been sitting in a whiskey barrel. And then we have kind of the opposite. We've got a maple whiskey. So this is Canadian whiskey that is sweetened with maple syrup. After that, we're also gonna be using this maple cream ale from Muskoka Springs, also in Ontario, Canada. So this is basically a maple soda as it were, so maple cream ale. And oh, that is literally just like sipping on carbonated maple syrup. <laughs> it's absolutely wonderful. It's really delicious. It's not overly sweet. You would think like, oh my God, that's ridiculously sweet. Obviously there's carb, I don't, know, I don't know the process of making it, but obviously it is diluted. It's not like thick or anything. It's just, it's carbonated and it's delicious. Mm. We got three cocktails, let's do it. All right, we're gonna be using the maple eau de vie along with the maple cream ale, and we've got the whiskey barrel aged maple syrup. This is the Maple Collins. Whole lot of maple going into this one. So we're gonna start building this one directly into a Collins glass or a highball glass. We're gonna fill that with some lovely clear ice, and then we're going to pour in two ounces of our maple spirit. If you can't find a maple spirit, use vodka here. Uh, we're then gonna add a little bit of lemon juice, and we've got some maple syrup. And then quite simply, give that a little stir because the maple syrup does tend to settle on the bottom there. And then after that, leave the straw in there. We're gonna top it off with this maple cream ale. Um, yeah, I don't know what you could substitute if you can't find that, but I don't know, all, all this really comes together. You kind of need these ingredients. I don't know what to tell you. All right, we're gonna garnish with a maple cookie, of course. That's the, it's just all maple. And there it is, the Maple Collins, and oh, I can't wait to try that one. All right, moving on. Grand Marnier, Courvoisier, we've got Sweet Vermouth, we've got Campari, we've got Maple Syrup, of course. This is the Maple Orange Negroni. All right, so we're gonna start off by filling our mixing glass with some ice. We're going to dump one ounce of cognac in there, I'm using Courvoisier. We've got one ounce of Campari, building this like a traditional Negroni, but we're gonna split the vermouth here. So only half an ounce of sweet vermouth and then half an ounce of Grand Marnier. That's gonna be our orange component. And then finally, just a quarter ounce of maple syrup. Let's get it there. There it is. Quarter ounce of maple syrup into our mixing glass. Let's give this a really good stir until everything is kind of settled and nicely chilled. And then we're gonna dump over some fresh ice. I gotta, I gotta start making large ice cubes again. Uh, haven't done that. Luckily I got the ice machine, but I need those large cubes for stir drinks. We're gonna garnish with a decorative orange peel and there it is, the maple orange Negroni. And that looks amazing. I don't think there's a Negroni riff I don't like, so I'm definitely gonna love this. All right, moving on after the Negroni, we're gonna make a warm drink. This is the maple cider toddy. So we've got the maple whiskey, got the ma whiskey barrel aged maple syrup, and we've got some nice hot uh, apple cider. So starting in a toddy glass or an Irish coffee mug, we're gonna do two ounces of our maple whiskey. You could use bourbon or another maple flavored uh, whiskey if you got it. We've got the maple syrup, we've got a little bit of lemon, and then I just warmed up some apple cider in the microwave. You could do it on the stove top. You could even use a steam wand if you have an espresso machine. Uh, just get that apple cider nice and warm. We're gonna slide on an apple slice and of course give it a cinnamon stick. And there it is, the maple cider toddy. I'm not big into uh, hot drinks, but this one does look pretty delicious. All right. 
let's taste our cocktails. So we're gonna go start with the Maple Collins. Really looking forward to this one. <laughs> wow, that's just intensely, intensely maple. Um, every layer from the uh, Maple Eau de Vie, the Maple Spirit, Maple Syrup, of course, to that amazing um, Maple Soda, Maple Cream Ale. This is just like sipping on maple syrup, but it's not, it's surprisingly not overly sweet. So it's intensely maple, but not super sweet. Very nice. Next up, the maple orange Negroni. Now I love Negronis. I love pretty much all riffs on Negronis. And one of my favorite is the Celebration Cocktail, which is basically a standard Negroni with cognac, which is why I decided to use cognac here. But this is a maple orange Negroni. So we've got not the cognac, we've also got the Grand Marnier giving a little orange flavor. So we'll see if that pops through. Mm. Wow, so I mean, I get perfect balance, just like a regular Negroni, balance between the bitter Campari and then uh, the sweet vermouth. And this one here has an extra layer of maple, which complements the vermouth, um, and it's absolutely delicious. The cognac is lovely as well. I am picking up hints of orange on the back end. Um, there's only like a half an ounce of uh, Grand Marnier in there, but this is a really good uh, Negroni for the fall. Mm. That's awesome. Maple cider, uh, I'm gonna say taffy, maple cider toddy. I'm not a big toddy fan. Uh, we'll see how it is. I never made it with hot apple cider, so we'll see how this goes. Yeah, the whiskey's nice, the cider is nice. Uh, when cider's hot like that, I get you get more of the, uh, kind of a, more floral notes I find from the, the cider. Um, very nice. <coughs> that didn't go well. <coughs> uh, still good though. Yeah, so yeah, if you can use bourbon in here, I got the maple whiskey, which is really nice. Added that added layer of maple syrup. Maple plays really well with apples. Mm -mm. Like I said, not a huge fan of toddies, of hot drinks, but this is not bad. Well, there it is, guys. Three awesome uh, maple cocktails that you can make this fall. Uh, the Collins, the Negroni, and the Toddy. So give them a try. Let me know what's your favorite maple cocktail. Don't forget that uh, last year, myself and Vino did some maple cocktails. So click uh, somewhere here, that link, and you can check out even more great maple cocktails. All right, don't forget to leave a comment, like, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you next time. Cheers.